So the watch we're looking at today is just awesome. This is one of my favorite releases from G-Shock and definitely my favorite release from them last year. But unfortunately, there is a but we'll talk about here in a couple of minutes. The watch is the GMW B5000 TVA, the titanium virtual armor. And if you're the type of person that's into super clean minimalist watches, maybe not a fan of watches with dials that have too much text, that sort of thing, then this one may not be for you. Thanks to Jem Bijou, my local authorized dealer for G-Shock for lending this into the channel. If you're shopping watches, check them out at jembijou.com. So let's get straight to it and take a look at the watch. Now, I only have this watch for a short amount of time, so just a quick look today. But when I saw this at the shop, I had to see if I could borrow it a few days. I had seen the early press releases and a couple of videos when this first came out, and seeing it in pictures just doesn't do it justice. Straight away, this is hands down the watch with the most text I have ever ever seen you basically have a novel on wrist here but the way it's done is so cool and fun someone over at g-shock definitely has a sense of humor i'll go through that as we look at the watch but i love the overall look so it's kind of hard to even know where to start but the first thing i noticed with the watch was the high polished upper portion of the bezel the flat top area against the matte lower area actually on that polished part of the bezel one of those embellishments with text is the addition of the associated letter next to the button functions like they describe the buttons usually in the manuals for a lot of g-shocks totally not needed but there's a lot of that with this watch the watch, at least the bezel and bracelet, are made with titanium and they have a DLC coating. And guess what? They let you know on either side of the watch between the buttons. On the display, most of the text is pretty typical of a square, but down at the bottom is a line and it's quite toned down and not totally in your face or anything. I am finding it hard to actually see it all through my viewfinder here, but... It reads, shock resistant structure protects the case and bezel from induced shocks. So a full sentence squeezed in there, and I just find that hilarious. I don't know why, but this watch has a layer of resin between the case and bezel, which you can see through the holes here and here, and they let you know with even more text reading, fine resin cushioning. Continuing down the bracelet, one thing that's new compared to the other metal squares is instead of the little dimples on each side of the link, they've laser bored straight through. So there's a hole there, and I think that's a pretty neat look. Back to story time, though, it kind of feels that way with the amount of reading involved with this one. But on the first link, it has that number S. 1474 DV, which is actually the reference number of the bracelet itself. Then below that, diamond-like carbon coating, base titanium. So a whole lot of stating the obvious here, but also on that first link, it's numbered one, then two, then three. All of the rest of the links read joint pin removal with the arrow. Now, this probably seems over the top, and the reason for that is that it is over the top. It is totally over the top, but I will say I'm trying to highlight the text in this video with the close-ups, but a lot of time in most lighting, it's actually pretty subtle. Now, this is a first for me, but I want to touch on the module, and we're going to do that by looking at the clasp. And I know that sounds kind of weird. This is a new watch, by the way. The clasp has uh, still has its sticker on there, but it describes the module. It reads 3459, which is the module number, then multiband 6, and then it reads... A built-in miniature antenna conducts high sensitivity reception of standard time radio waves carrying time information and corrects the time automatically. And that is it for all of the kind of additional unique text you don't normally see on these watches, but there's a lot of videos that take a deeper dive on the functions with these, but this has that multiband 6, which for me is one of the most important functions of the watch. 
It's solar powered and has Bluetooth connectivity to connect to the app. I'll really just quickly go through and cycle through the basics with the mode button C here. And first up is world time. We have the alarm, stopwatch, timer, and then back to the home screen. The top right button, which has that red highlight, is the backlight button for time telling in the dark. Now, I'm not sure if the measurements are the exact same as the other metal squares. I'm pretty sure it's very close, but the watch comes in at a width of 43.4 millimeters. The lug to lug is 48.9 millimeters, but the end link is fixed. And from one end to the other, it comes in at 61.1 millimeters. Thickness is 13.2 millimeters. Water resist on the watch is 200 meters. And the crystal is a sapphire crystal. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Now, I haven't sized the watch, but man, is it ever lightweight. Such a good looking watch too. I really like the red accents and that polished bezel looks very sharp. The big negative for me, the butt that I mentioned at the start of the video is the cost. These at retail, if you can even find one now, go for $16.50 USD. I can totally see why someone would just pay up for this, but I just can't. I'd so be wearing this thing all the time if it were mine, but I just can't swallow that $1,650 pill. What a cool watch, though. This thing is just so awesome. So that is it for today. Thanks for taking a few minutes to stop by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.